and welcome to episode two of GT Financial's Financial Literacy Podcast. My name is Karina Benavides and we're coming to you from the Student Powered Center. So last episode we talked about the difference between credit unions and banks and what that means to you. So this episode we're going to go ahead and discuss debit and credit and how that applies to students. And now to introduce our guest for the episode, Kanita. So Kanita, go ahead and tell us a little more about yourself. Hi, my name is Kanita Whitehead, and I'm studying to be a triple NP, and a triple NP is a neonatal nurse practitioner. And um, one other thing about me is that I really like cookies. So if you've got some cookies, let me know. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and play a game. So basically how the game works is that you're gonna pull out a question, and if you answer it correctly, you're gonna go ahead and get a cookie. And we're gonna be keeping track of how many questions Kanina gets right with the number of cookies on the screen. So go ahead and pull out a question. What is the difference between credit and debit? Okay, credit is something, it's not real money, and then debit is real money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much That's the, pretty the whole basis of it. So, like you mentioned before, debit is money that it is in your bank account, and then with credit, you are borrowing that money from a financial institution, and then you're paying it back depending on what the balance is with an interest rate. Well, you got a cookie, so congratulations for that. Yeah. Um, so go ahead and pull out the next question. Okay, here it goes. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Ow! Where you at? Where you at? Okay. How do you check your credit report? Okay. I know a little bit about this question. Um, I know that you're only allowed to credit, I mean, to check your credit report three times a year, and you can check it online through um, three different types of credit bureaus, I believe. Yeah, so you touched upon some really good points. So, yes, you can pull your credit uh, three times a year, and then you can do it through uh, annualcreditreport.com. So annualcreditreport.com is basically the free website for you to check your credit. So if it asks you for credit card information, don't do it. It should be completely free, and then it pulls it from the three credit bureaus. So you get Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. Go ahead and pull out a question. How do you build credit? Ooh, I just learned about that one. Um, there's different ways to build your credit. You can, I think you can get a credit card, uh, hence credit card. Um, you can buy something and take out a loan and pay it back with interest throughout the years. Or you can, let me see another one. The one that I'm going to do is that I'm going to get a car, get a car, and then I'm going to pay off most of it, but then I'm going to, um, I'm going to pay, I'm going to finance it until it's paid off so I can build up my credit. All right, so that was good. You touched upon several different ways to go ahead and start to build credit for, you know, your future. But for most students, though, the easiest way is to start off with a secure credit card. So a secure credit card basically is you have this little pot of money. So let's say you're getting a $250 uh, secured card. So you take that $250 and you put it away in a savings account. Now, you don't touch that money, and it becomes kind of a security blanket for both you and the financial institution. So they know that that money is there and you can pay them back. Good thing, you get another cookie, so we're up to two and a half cookies. I know it's beautiful, so just go ahead and put out the last question. <laughs> Where are you at? Ow. Okay. What is the importance of credit? Ooh, that is something I have yet to know, so I don't probably want to do that one. The importance of credit is that the better the credit you have, the better lending history you've had. So financial institutions can trust you by lending you more amounts of money for a lower interest rate. If you don't have a good credit, they're not going to lend you high amounts of money and the money that they do lend you is going to be at a higher interest rate. So in the long run, having better credit will just go ahead and allow you the ability to make purchases or investments that you want to make in the future because they'll lend you the money and it won't cost you as much because you'll have to pay it back at a lower interest rate. Do you have any more questions, Kanita? No, I already know when I'm getting my cookies. You already know when you're getting yeah. your cookies? Yeah, just go ahead and stop by the student center. We'll go ahead and give those to you. So, But thank you for being on the show with us. Happy 80th birthday to DT Financial. We're celebrating 80 years of being in the community. Also, if you're interested in being in our next student podcast, you can just go ahead and check out our various social media. So we're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. 
Also, you can check out our website at gtfinancial.org. Thank you for joining us for today, and that is all. So we'll see you next time. Bye.